Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing great. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a side-by-side -side look and comparison at the difference between Christian Light Education Math, which if you are new around here, I've used this for several years now. And then I'm also gonna be comparing it with the ACE Pace Math. So these are the two curriculums that we are really just gonna be flipping through and comparing today. This is a newer found thing of mine. Um, and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a flip through and you guys did. And so I thought, since I've had a lot of people recommend this to me via like my Christian Light Education math videos, I thought I would sit down and do an actual side-by-side -side kind of review slash comparison. What are the pros and cons of each one? What are some just like highlights of each one? What are some things that I love about each one, don't like about each one? And just all the little things comparing Ace Pace with Christian Light Education. Anyway, I am gonna go ahead and grab the camera. That way you guys can see um, some of the flip through pages and then see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to sharing pros and cons, differences and everything in between. So starting with just some very basic differences to start out, uh, we have Christian Light Education as the publisher for this one, of course, and then Accelerated Christian Education for um, ACE, or as most commonly known in the homeschool community as ACE. The Christian Light Education units are just called light units, and then the ACE PACE ones are just called PACES. In the Christian Light Education, I believe there's 10 units, and then in the ACE PACES, there are 12 different PACES that they go through. Now, when it comes to the teaching styles, a CLE math is more of a spiral approach Approach, which I love because it is very review heavy, but you're also consistently learning new things while going back and reviewing. And we'll flip through that when we open this side by side so you can get an idea of what I mean by this spiral approach. And then the ACE PACES, they have a mastery based to where they do one concept at a time. So CLA math might have a couple of different topics in each light unit. You're reviewing them every single lesson, but you're also adding a new concept every single lesson. Where as an ACE paste because it is a more mastery based you're doing one concept at a time i do like how thin the ace paces are it's very doable it's not overwhelming at all to the child however because it is mastery based there's not a ton of variety per pace so there, it's the same concept but again it is mastery so you are mastering the skill you're mastering the idea so by the end of it you will have again mastered this thing now when it comes to teacher involvement the christian light education mathematics is has a moderate teacher involvement. They do have answer keys provided separately, of course. And then the ACE PACE, because this is a more mastery based, it's an open and go thing. The teacher involvement is very, very low. So everything you really need, and I would say you probably, I wouldn't really think that teacher guide is 100% necessity for ACE PACE, at least in my personal experience doing the first few so far, um, unless you just want it as a quick reference guide for checking the work. Whereas in Christian Light Education, because they do add in a few extra things to the teacher guide, I would definitely recommend picking up the teacher guide for the CLE one. So when it comes to the biblical integration to both because they're both faith-based, the Christian Light Education has the Christian principles kind of inter interwoven throughout it. So a lot of it is character focused, um, whereas in the ACE Pace, a lot of the focus is going to be scripture memory. So you're gonna be learning the Bible verses and memorizing a Bible verse per pace, which I love. So you're gonna have scripture memory in one. Um, this also has some scripture in it, but most of it is um, character development is from the differences so far I've been able to tell. Um, again, grade level focus, concept mastery with constant review is math as we already kind of talked about. And then with ACE PACE, you have the step-by-step -step mastery of one topic per pace, which again, we had already talked about. Well, depending on the style of your family and the learning style of your child, some people might get bored with doing the same thing over and over again, but then some children might thrive because they need that extra attention. And if you're in the Christian Light Education and there's too many um, new topics being learned, you don't have enough time to master something, then you can kind of see the pros and the cons based on what your family is kind of wanting or looking for. As far as cost goes, this is more of a mid-range. I want to say it's in the 50s now for just the student light units. And then it's an additional money on top of that for the teacher guide. Whereas an ACE PACE, I want to say it's 34 for all 12 paces. So it's very, very affordable. Um, one of the most affordable uh, like formal math curriculums that I've seen. When it comes to the assessments within the curriculum, so within Christian Light Education, you have regular quizzes and tests. And I've shared before on my channel that we don't do all of the quizzes and tests because there's so much practice and review in here. Um, but that is depending on your state. We live in a state that doesn't require it, so we don't necessarily do all that. Um, and because I'm right there with them, I can I already kind of know what they're mastering and what they need help with and things like that. 
Anyway, the assessments for the ACE PACE, these are self tests and checkups in PACE. So you're gonna get two little pages here where you're gonna check up to see if you need to add anything um, and to check your work and things like that. So definitely unique in how each method is taught. Um, but again, it comes down to your family style and how your child likes to learn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a breakdown or a content breakdown of each one, giving you guys some of my personal pros and cons. And as a disclaimer, these are subjective. So what might be some of my pros and cons might be reverse for you and that's totally fine because I know every family is so different uh, but some of the pros that I would consider um, in Christian light education it is a spiral learning which we've talked about already several times <laughs> but it ensures consistent review preventing knowledge gaps because there is consistent review I found that at the end of a light you know or even at the end of a curriculum or the school year they've kind of automatically mastered concepts because there is so much review. So for example, you have the clocks and like practicing telling time. You also have fractions. And then the start of the next lesson, you also have fractions and you still have addition. And you go all the way through here and you still have clocks. So you're really reviewing every single day while adding in a new concept every single day. So the spiral approach is something that I would recommend if your little ones kind of get tired of doing the same thing um, because every day is gonna be a little bit different even though there's a lot for each day, it's gonna vary at least a little bit. So for the Christian light education, it does have a focus on mental math and real world problem solving, which I also love because it uses the story problems. It also does use a lot of different mental math um, problems for problem solving. It does include, and this is a, I'm putting this in the pro because if you are in a state that does require assessments, it does include all the quizzes and tests for better tracking of progress. So if you are in a bit really busy season of life or your children are very independent, especially for the higher grades with Christian light education, if your children are independent and you just need to test kind of like where they're at and make sure they're doing well, then you can definitely administer the light unit test, see where they're at, see where their struggles are. And I would recommend doing it that way. So if you're not able to sit down and um, walk through the lessons with your children and you do need to make sure that they're grasping the concept if they're independent learners, then I'm putting the pro in this curriculum as it having all the quizzes and tests. And of course, another pro of mine are that Christian values are very naturally integrated throughout, whether it be with the story problems, there's character building things. Um, and so I really, really like that about it. So a few of the cons that I would consider cons about this curriculum, it does require a little bit more teacher involvement for explanations and grading. This is why, uh, because it is spiral, you are introducing a new topic almost every day. And so this is where I would consider um, maybe purchasing the teacher guide with it as well. Because when you start out each lesson, you're going to need to check off the to-do list, so to speak, um, when it comes to working with your student. Another con or two that I will mention about Christian Light Education, and I have shared this before on my channel, and this is actually also our own personal experience using this curriculum even though I still love it. So when my now second grader, when she was in first grade, she struggled with this because even though there was a lot of review, it wasn't enough mastery involved. So I was trying to find something that was skill focused. That's why we switched to Ray's and Simply Charlotte Mason Math. It wasn't really about finishing a lesson, finishing a book, finishing a grade. It was really just focusing on skill. If your little ones do struggle with math, I would not recommend this only because the skills do advance very quickly. And while yes, they do offer a lot of review, they just advance quickly enough to where it can be very overwhelming and your struggling learner can probably really fall behind and just, yeah, it wouldn't be a good combination if you do have a struggling learner. All right, so the first one in the second grade, you have light unit 1013. 10, 14, and then the rest of the pile here. As you can tell, they are all very, very thin, which again, it makes it wonderful for children who might get overwhelmed. So I do love how Ace Pace does that. As I mentioned before, I love Christian Light Education when they do that as well. So we already looked at what's inside 1013. Again, a very simple, basic, just adding of two numbers, subtracting of two numbers, numbers that come before and after, and things like that. With 1014, you're gonna open the page and you're going to start working on some more addition. Again, you're mastering this concept and you're doing your basic subtraction, more basic. So this is what I mean where it is a lot when it comes to being repetitive. Then you start mastering when you add three numbers. So you're gonna start working on that. You're gonna add three numbers together for I think most of the rest of this book when it comes to that. And then we're, we're of course kind of crossing things out as we go. Um, and then we're with here, we're gonna start doing double digits with adding those. So that concept will be added as well. So you're mastering again, adding of those two digits for 
for 1014. For 1015, your concepts that you are going to be mastering is of course you're focusing on adding again, um, adding the three columns, the double digits and everything. So again, you're really mastering the addition and subtraction. I will go ahead and say that when it comes to my kiddos' personal opinion about Ace Pace and Christian Light Education is they do like the variety of Christian Light Education. This is 1017. However, they really also like the, um, the colorful pages that this book provides. So this is the next book here that we'll kind of flip through. And I do like that too. Like a lot of the little fun cutesy activities are really just, they're adorable. But at this point, we're now on 1018 and we're still adding your three columns and your, your double digits. So again, it's not for everybody. You are mastering this concept. But apart from mastering your addition and subtraction, you're now mastering place value and things like that. There's not a lot of extra material apart from that so far. So that's 1018. So this would be the next one. You're just doing basic addition um, for the next one here. Basic subtraction. So you have 1020. So 1020 is again your um, addition, subtraction, story problems. Not much different. You have 1021. Um, you a lot of story problems, a lot of subtraction. You start to write like you know first, second, third, fourth, and fifth um, things like that. So that's great too. And then 1022, you have a lot of practice with your kind of place values which is wonderful. Um, it's good to have a lot of practice with that. But again, you're going back to your addition, subtraction, coloring pages, and yeah, pretty simple throughout there. Okay, so I wanted to do 1023, put them in order, and 1024 separately because for all of these units here, there was not a ton of concepts. You did get introduced to you know, the three columns, a hundreds column, place value, but you're really mastering your addition and subtraction with all of these. It can be pretty repetitive because there's not much variety. Variety, However, by the time you get to the very end, so this is a pro or con, by the time you get to 1023 and 1024, with 1023, you have an, an entire unit, almost an entire unit, most of it is, um, with telling time, practicing telling time. The reason why I'm sharing these two separately is if your child is doing another math curriculum and they just need some extra practice with like learning how to tell time on a clock, you can buy these individually just like Christian Light Education and they're only like $3. So if you're looking for a very specific workbook that is one of the most affordable things out there and you want some practice that's open and go that your child can do by themselves, 100% recommend these last two units to get by themselves if you need help mastering this because again, it's mastery, which is a pro for this one. But as you can tell, there's just a lot of clock practice. So this is a wonderful option where if you are doing a math curriculum and you need this added resource, it's only a few dollars, you can add it into your homeschool and they will just have so much practice with clocks. As you can tell, there's just a lot of practice with that. And then of course you go into your addition and subtraction again, but then you go into borrowing and subtracting time and everything that relates to time. So borrowing and subtracting with story problems, but it's all about time. And so I wanted to share this as being a wonderful resource to pick up if you need help with telling time. And then this one I'm also sharing because most of the first part of this is going to be money. So if your little ones need a workbook, again, it's only a few dollars and they need help getting introduced to the concept of money or need something that's open and go. Um, I do like how the actual money itself are life size and the color. So you can actually lay your coins out and count along with them if they need help with money. But this is all has to do with money. So I would definitely recommend this as well. And then you have a lot of different practice of adding, you know, putting the cent sign, the dollar sign, decimal points, everything like that. Anyway, I wanted to leave those separately to give that as an option if you're using a math curriculum and you want something that has money in it and something that has the time practice in it because this is just a lot of clocks um, for practice and stuff. So that's wonderful. And then the story problems that involve 
um, adding and subtraction, or adding and subtracting time, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, that's 1023 and 1024. Again, I would recommend getting those separately if you don't wanna do the whole curriculum as a way to master those two concepts, which can kind of be challenging once you get to the second grade and it's a new, new, new idea. Anyway, that was a look at all of the ACE paces, most of them anyway. We have been enjoying it. Again, we're going to kind of see how it goes because we are doing Rays and Simply Charlotte Mesa Math. It's not something we do every day. However, on those busy days where we're just needing to do some math to keep our skills sharp, and my uh, second grader just fully enjoys doing workbooks, to be honest. So for her, she loves it. And then my third grader, he's pretty much independent now, um, especially with reading. So the main things I do with my third grader are going to be like language arts and things like that. Um, but he's pretty independent when it comes to his math, except for on the days that we do our Charlotte Mason math. Uh, but he's really independent in that even because we'll open the pages and he'll do copy work and stuff. And then of course, um, it's not 100% independent when we're doing raise because that's all oral, um, read by me typically. Um, but for the most part, he's independent. So these are wonderful, again, if you want that independent type thing for your learner. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the differences between the ACE Pace Math with Christian Light Education. Both are wonderful, wonderful options, but as you saw in a little bit of a flip through, there are definitely differences and pros and cons to each one. So I hope it helped you when it comes to choosing math for your family and getting an idea of really what each one entails and again, the differences between each one. Anyway, thank you guys again for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love so much to have you guys join our family. You can do so by subscribing down below. And until my next video, you guys have a great day. Bye guys.